Greetings, Brewers. And... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Greetings, Brewers and beer lovers. This is uh, Ed and Tim coming back at you with a special guest in our top left corner. This is uh, John. John is uh, our friend, stroke, home brewer, slash channel supporter. So we're, uh, we're pleased to have him here. Um, incidentally, we do welcome guests. So if you fancy doing a video with us, hit us up. Um, send us some beer. <laughs> send us some beer first. That would be great. Um, John has brewed a clone of Brewdog versus Cloudwater's New England IPA. Um, and uh, we're going to do a blind taste test to see if we can pick out the real thing versus the homebrew. Mm, cool. John, um, first off, can you tell us a little bit about when you first started homebrewing, please? Uh, yeah, sure thing. Um, so I started brewing first when I was at university, so probably about 2009, 2010. Um, I, yeah, I saw, I saw some other people who were doing it and we were part of a, a grape and grain society, but basically we just went to loads of pubs and had lots of beer. Um, but I thought it was a nice cheap way to get beer um, and it, you know, it, it was drinkable there were never any batches that got thrown away um, so yeah did that for a few years um, and then our friend and yours Ed um, sort of got onto the scene and started doing uh, full mash brews which uh, in incentivized me to start doing my own full mash brew um, as well and never looked back really. Oh cool um, what's your setup at the moment then what are you brewing on right now and how's it evolved I suppose over the years? Uh, well, it pretty much, um, I, you know, it was started out with just the plastic fermentation bucket. Um, I think it was a, a Young's one, um, just 25 litres, you know, literally just mix in hot water, syrup, cold water, and then chop, put in the yeast and off you go. A couple of weeks later, you got some beer. Um, I've still got that and I now use that bucket as my fermenter um, only, but I bought myself um, a 30 litre Klarstein, which is like a boiler mash tun all in one. Um, so it's probably about yay high um, and it's got like a, a grain basket that sits in it so you're able to um, heat the, the water to uh, strike temperature. Um, I also use a, um, a hot liquor tank as well just a gravity feed I just have it up on a up on a rack. Um, yeah so you can heat, heat it up strike temperature and put the grain inside the basket you do all the mashing all inside the one unit and then you, you can lift the mash basket out, turn it 90 degrees, and it sits on these feet that are on top of the unit. Oh, cool. So then everything drains through that basket back into the what is the kind of the mash tun slash boiler, um, ready for the boiling stage. Excellent. And those are all your, all the beers you brewed, what, over the past couple of years, aren't they, over your shoulder on the, on the chalkboard? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So it starts off with a, the, the last couple of kits I did, which are of unknown origin in terms of their ABV and their, their born on date. Um, but then we've got batches one through 15 now. So cool. this is batch 15 that we're, we're tasting today. Excellent. So um, you obviously know this, uh, this New England IPA quite, is it a favorite beer of yours or what? Uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite brew dog ones. Um, I've had it, I had it I don't know, a few months ago, um, but then it was also part of their uh, Christmas advent calendar. So I had it again. Okay. Um, and Ed and I were just discussing, you know, beers we wanted to do. And I'd done some IPAs, but I'd never done a New England IPA. Um, yeah, and going for so I've always been a bit deterred from going for something that's really heavily hopped because it's it's just more expensive. And if it goes wrong, it feels like you know, you're, you're putting a lot more um, cost into it, and uh, it's, you know, you're throwing money down the drain. But um, I've not had a bad batch yet, so um, I thought actually, yeah, let's take a punt and uh, go for something that's heavily hopped um but it, it wasn't that expensive to be honest i mean it was 30 quid uh including dry yeast um at the moment i'm just still sticking with using dry yeast rather than uh trying to harvest my own yeast um uh, yeah and i got yeah almost 40 pints out of that which when you compare it to the, the price of a can um is yeah it's pretty decent yeah yeah so tell us more about the beer the beer um so it's a so it's a New England IPA, which um, I don't know if you've discussed it before on the channel, but um, yeah, it, it's essentially an Americanized, heavily hopped version of an India Pale Ale, uh, which you know, it, back in its day was a uh, an IPA was heavily hopped anyway to help it survive the journey from England over to India. Hmm. Um, yeah. So uh, you're learning something. Um, <laughs> So, um, and, and they'd also um, typically brew it um, at higher strength as well, higher ABV, um, because A, it would last better on the journey, 
but b when they when it got to its final destination they then water it down um so that they could transport more um you know for, for a given amount of cargo um but i th- yeah the story goes that actually people just loved it so much at a high strength that they never bothered watering it down um and that was kind of the ipa so yes it's kind of yeah a lot more aroma hops um I think that was the most notable thing for me about this recipe compared to previous recipes I've done is just the amount of hops that went in uh, post boil and you know, into the fermenter once it got down to fermentation temperature. Mm-hmm. And that's on the, on the aroma hops, aren't they? The, the New England IPAs. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all kind of all that aroma flavour, and yeah. you can you can really tell an IPA a, a New England IPA over a normal IPA usually because of the aroma hit. Yeah. How about um, the brew dog itself we've got here then? Um, I, the one line I remember about it is that it's described as a hopped up superpower of a beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd agree with that. I wouldn't disagree. It's, uh, it's, brew dog, though. it's a collaboration with um, another brewery, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a brew dog versus cloud water, which kind of inspired the name for mine. Um, so my version is, their version is brew dog versus cloud water. Um, and I've called my three way, which is subtitled brew dog versus cloud water versus home brewer. <laughs> uh, cloud, cloud water, one of their beers can currently be seen on the uh, brew bros beer hall of fame. Check out the link. <laughs> um, brew dog's not on our hall of fame at the moment, but that's, that's for another day. Um, <laughs> shall we, shall we taste these and see how we get on? Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's go for it. Yep. So we, we, we've got envelopes. Um, our wives have poured the beers and they've just arrived on stage right and uh, we, also, we also have an envelope containing the answer of which is the original and which is the homebrew so that's how it's going to go down what are we trying first? we're going to try A first are we? yeah Yeah. normally A comes first <laughs> colour white there's not a lot in it looking at yours John on your screen I reckon I can tell just by looking at it I, can I reckon see I can as well. well. Although, although <laughs> but, the, the bottle's now got a lot cloudier because you know, some of the yeast is kicked up a lot yeah. of the sediment. For me, there's not a huge amount. There's not as much difference. Yeah, it's me. not quite as different. B has retained its head a little bit better than, than A. That's got, we've been chatting. Really? That that, that's the yeah. opposite with me. Is it? Oh, yeah. Did that, your that, girl got yours the wrong way around? Uh, well, she might have done, but to be honest, she, she, she doesn't <laughs> drink beer or like beer, so she... She probably just tried to screw me over by uh, by pouring it in a particular way. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my belt off and get down there in a minute. Um, <laughs> so for me, that's A and that's B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same, same with me. Yeah, A is, A is certainly lighter. It's paler. It looks more like that one we tried the other day, the uh, the verdant one. Can I just jump in as well and say that this channel does not condone domestic violence in any way? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Glad we got that bit over with. <laughs> uh, so A, should we go for aroma? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah! Ooh, wow. Yeah, you can smell the smell the melon hops. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, very tropical. Yeah. Oh, you have to drink some. Yeah, melon and grapefruit. And... He's already in. I'm going to go in as well. Are you going for it? Yeah. I've been teased too much. A lot of lime as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh yeah, lime. Juicy peach, melon, lime, subtle caramelized pineapple. That's really good. It's not. It's not ridiculously hoppy. It's not. It's not like the verdant one we had the other day. No. So what are you guys trying? Have you tried one of both? No, I've, I've, I've only tried A. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. A is lovely. Really good, isn't it? Really smooth. Mm. Nice malt. Is it piney? <laughs> what do you expect with the hop? Um, what, what were the hops in this then, John? Because I've, I've never brewed this. Let me uh, consult my recipe book. Sorry. <laughs> I know we're all good. I, I just can't commit them to memory. So we had um, mosaic, citra, followed by more mosaic. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's only two hops. So not just too hot, right? Yeah, it's a, a two hot beer. So not you know, it was just quite a, quite a lot of them. Um, given the uh, yeah, given the overall, yeah, you know, it was just twenty liters worth. I'll yeah. be honest, John. If that is your beer, if you brewed that. You're a talented man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, agree. I don't know. That's a that's a tasty beer. Definitely tastes a little bit more alcoholy, just a little yeah. bit, just in the back of the throat. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Should go for B. 
Let's go. Really? For the... hey, he's got a little palate freshener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a fair test. <laughs> Bottle from Eddie the Beast Hall. Yeah, he's a, he's a personal friend. Oh, he's a hero, man. I was watching him again earlier. <laughs> right, let's go for B then. The head protectors. Let's do this. So my head has completely disappeared. Mine hasn't. Mine's still there. Tim, I think you might have yours around the wrong way. Me and John have both still got. Well, that one's crystal clear, though. Yeah. Well, I say it's, crystal clear. Relative. It, yeah, it's it's, it, it's pretty clear. Hmm. Um, let's have a look under light. Actually, on camera, it picks it up more than it does in person. It doesn't. They look very similar in person, but obviously this one's the more sort of yay, yellow, a bit more hazy, which mm. may give it away. Yeah. Mm. Right. It's not getting quite as much powerful aroma hops. Like, they're definitely melon on that. Yeah. It's, it's, definitely, it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty, it is pretty close on smell. Yeah. Mm. A little bit more mango maybe on that one. Might just be me. <laughs> no, I, I agree. Mango, yeah. We going for it? Has John gone in? John, you oh, yeah, gone in. Yeah, in. Let confused. us wet our wicks. Mm. It's very good. It's very good. They're both very good. Yeah. Based on myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Both really, really, really good. I mean, I've tried mm -hmm. the beer before. I've got an idea of which is which. I'm not gonna. I'd, I, I'd say B, B, is, B is more bitter on the finish. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting less, kind of fewer sweet notes. I'm definitely not getting the caramelized yeah. or, you know, kind of quite as much sweetness on it. I agree. I, I would say going back to A, 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 is, A is smoother and rounder for me. Um, Juicier. Which in which in my experience does suggest commercial beer. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, you you both think that A is the commercial version. Steady on the sunshine. I'm not saying that yet. I'll just. No, it's, 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 I'll reveal my answer in about a minute. Let's hit, let, let's hear what you got. Let's hear what you got to say. I um. I think A's got A seems to have a little bit more body to it. I think for me, yeah. B is lovely. I really like B. I mean. Whichever beer it is, it's the best beer that I've tried of yours so far, I think. I think, it's really, <laughs> I think it's really good. How yeah, did you, yeah, yeah. How did you really. carbonate? Uh, just bottled it, a bottle carbonation. Was it uh, dextrose? Yeah, just uh, de pure dextrose mixed in with water in the... Uh, I used a um, bottling bucket just to mix it all through. Um, Another thing, I remember you saying that you didn't quite hit the gravity, the final, uh, sorry, the original gravity. It wasn't quite what you were expecting. And so oh, yeah. We, yeah, yeah so, we had, we had a conspiracy is, theory on this, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. And one of them is a little bit more boozy than the other for me. You, you two have been comparing notes behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> Only about the brew day. This is yeah. an outrage. No, because well, really no, normally I'll, I'll be pretty close to the gravity, the original gravity on these. Yeah, my, my efficiency is pretty good. And it's, yeah. Yeah, I've never had it this far off. I think, what did I get? So it wanted 1065 in the original gravity reading, and I had 1050. And I was like, whoa, that's that's significantly different. Um, and we just, we, we were discussing it, and we did a bit of Googling as well. We reckon they're short on the grain bill. We reckon the recipe they published is is just, you know, it's short by like a kilo and a half or a kilo. I think of so. grain. Definitely. Yeah, my, um, my friend Rich, who I mentioned in my previous video, up in Wales, He's recently got in the home brewing and he attempted this one as well. And he had, he had pretty much the exact same result, I think, as you did, OG wise. Um, he didn't hit the OG either. He was quite some way off it. And so, yeah, for me, that's a little bit of a telltale that I've, I've had that sort of information beforehand. And that kind of, I mean, they're both, yeah, the, the, the actual commercial brewer is a brilliant beer. It's one of my favorites. I love it. But the one that I think is yours is really, really good, really impressive. They're not far off, are they? I'm, yeah. I'm, no, 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 they're not. Deep. They're not. Even did the colour as well. Did you? What? What was the deal with the water? Did you uh, do any water treatment? Did you use bottled water? No, no. So literally just straight out of the tap. Um, you know, even the hard Dorset water. Um, I want to get around to treating the water at some point, but uh, it's just yeah. As with brewing, you know, as you guys know, it's kind of 
baby steps, isn't it? You, if you yeah. change, you can almost change everything from one brew to the next. But in some ways, actually, you don't want to do that because if something goes wrong, you, you you want to pinpoint it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You want to know what the variant is, and then you can change it. And yeah, yeah. I only ask because I'm 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 quite new to homebrew, um, and I've obviously heard about this homebrew twang, and Ed and I've done a a, a, a video on that already, or that hasn't been published yet. Um, there is a very faint twang with yours. Um, and I, I wonder if that is the uh, the homebrew twang they talk about. I, I can't even put my finger on exactly what it is. Yeah, I think I think you mean. I think I've definitely had that with other beers, particularly bitters. Yeah, uh, where you definitely you, know, you it's really you subtle. It's not. It's not you know it in the mouth, but yeah, it's really subtle on this one. I think because the the hops kind of overpower it. It's a good way of making beef and home brews, just heavily hoppy, I think. I'm not really getting a lot of that, to be honest, on, on mine. Maybe your palate is a little bit more sensitive than mine. <laughs> I'll, accept I'll, you. I'll accept that. Hyper I'll accept that. It's a really clean, kind of bright beer. I, I'm not really better palate, more hairs on the head. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not really, I'm not really getting any off flavours with that. <laughs> I'm not really getting any off flavours. I'm just getting, for me, it's just lacking a little bit of body, and I think that's down to the grain bill error. Mm. I would describe homebrew twang as an off flavor from, from from what I've seen. It's just something that you get that's just lurking in the background that you can that you can detect. The more I taste them, the, the harder it's getting to tell now, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think that's just because your palate just over, you know, over, over four or five sips, it, it, yeah, it sort of it gets tainted. Um, I, I, a, I'd happily drink both of them for sure. Yeah. It's going to be a lot harder than I was expecting to, to tell the difference. <laughs> Yeah. So should we reveal what we think then? Yeah. I'm just comparing the colour now because this one's kicked up a load of sediment. It's, it's somewhere between the two now. <laughs> shall I, shall yeah. I reveal my cards or are we revealing together? Should we hold, well, I'll hold them up. Oh, I'm not too sure. I just can't. <laughs> I don't want that Spanish guy laughing at me again. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Or Mexican. I think he's Mexican, isn't he? Yeah. And what's the question? Are we going to? I'm, I'm going to hold up. I've written down on my envelope which one I think is the original. Um, yeah. Is that what we're going to do? Well, so you, 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 you're going to write down what you think is the uh, is the, the brew dog. dog. Yeah. Yeah. And right. I've done that. Okay. Ah yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. King in the castle. King in the castle. <laughs> Sorry, it's Sunday, Sunday evening, back to work tomorrow. Well, you call lying on the sofa in your pants work. <laughs> I was going to say, you've been working for about a year now, have you? <laughs> I work, don't you worry about that. <laughs> so, are we ready for the big reveal? Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous again, genuinely. I mean, that's a, that's a massive compliment to, to you, John, I think. They're both really, really good beers. Um, <laughs> they yeah, are, really yeah, yeah, they are. And you're right. Uh, the the right. more steps you have, the more it um, the more it plays on your mind because the kind of closer they get to each other. Yeah. Which is why I I, I made my mind up like pretty much as soon as I, to be honest, it, it was the it, it, it was it, it was the uh -huh. smell really. Hmm. But I might be wrong. Let's let's find uh, out. Yeah. Let's see. Ready? On three, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Go for that. And the correct answer is. Correct answer is. Mm. Oh, a brew dog. Okay. A that, is the brew dog. B is the home brew. The, the closer we got to, to, to the reveal, the more worried I was because <laughs> it's, it's generally hard to tell. That's a really, really good beer, John. Do you, th do you think if I'd uh, sent them over in amber glasses, it would have helped shield it? Yeah. Them? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah Next time we'll next time we'll do that. Yeah. Um, I mean, A for me, it's still it's. I mean, yeah, B still got its head as well. Yeah, I mean, mine's got really good lacing on the glass. Yeah, looking at it's it, kind of looking at it beforehand, I'd already before yeah. we, before we'd even smelled them or tasted them at all, I'd kind of made my mind up that A was going to be your one because the lack of oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. No, I'm I'm really pleased with that, and I think actually it works quite well because um, I mean, in terms of the lower percentage, so. What well, the brew dog is six point eight, and uh, my one's five point two, five point five point two five or something like that. Um, but you can definitely taste a little bit of alcoholiness on the kind of 
and the back of their throat on the bridge. Yeah, 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 absolutely. This is maybe something we should do more often and advertise. Send your home breed to us, and we'll compare it to the real thing. And if you if you fool us, you win some kind of incentive. Definitely, <laughs> win some kudos. That's it. <laughs> um. So there we go. I reckon that's it. That's a wrap, isn't it? That's a wrap. I think so. Yeah. 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 I also want to say just how honoured I am to be the uh, the first person with hair to be on Brew Bros. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, that's cool. So, um, thanks, John. Thanks, uh, thanks very much for uh, for uh, brewing that for us and, and coming on with us. Um, no worries, enjoyed it. I think, uh, as I said, we welcome anyone else who wants to wants to do this with us to come on. We're we're always in the market for free beer. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on another video very soon. That is a wrap. <laughs>